If you saw a lot of commotion going on this morning at Florida Atlantic University's campus, there's no need to worry. It was all part of the university's disaster day. It's a day where they focus on how to respond to disasters with hands-on training. CBS 12's Amber Robb joins us with a look at how our first responders and medical professionals are preparing for the worst. Here on Florida Atlantic University's campus, emergency medicine physician residents, local nurses, paramedics, and firefighters all worked to respond and treat victims of a mock car bombing and a mass shooting. Pete, there is an active shooter in the building. Remain calm. Disaster scenarios that you never want to happen but need to be prepared for. On Tuesday, Florida Atlantic University emergency medicine physician residents got hands-on training for the toughest disasters to respond to, starting with a mass shooting. And then a car bombing. The school's Department of Emergency Medicine says they run drills like these because doctors need to be prepared for high stakes situations. Part of our job is muscle memory. If we've been exposed to an incident in the past, we can tap into that knowledge because we've been there, we've done that. The hallways full of screams. <laughs> Fake blood and plenty of pretend injuries. About 50 volunteer patients committed to helping our responders by acting injured and waiting to be triaged and treated by residents like Christian Pilot. He says while this is something he's never done before, it was definitely a learning experience. There's one thing to learn in a textbook, it's another thing to go through the real world scenario. He and his fellow residents work their way around, treating injured patients while also tagging them with identifiers of how severe their injuries are. When you're triaging a patient, um, there are different levels of you know how severely injured the patient is um, and basically how likely they are to survive the injuries. Their department chair says this training is essential. We, we drill for these things, hoping that we never have to use this knowledge, um, but we want to be able to take care of our community if and unfortunately sometimes when the situation arises. Many of the responders I spoke with today say they need to be able to save as many lives as possible in emergency situations and scenarios like these will help our entire community if these horrible disasters actually happen. Reporting in Boca Raton, I'm Amber Robb, CBS 12 News.